Now let's understand what is marginal rate of substitution. Marginal rate of substitution. We'll take the same example, the same schedule that we've taken earlier. What is marginal rate of substitution? Marginal rate of substitution is nothing but the rate at which the consumer is ready to sacrifice a good for other. Marginal rate of substitution calculates the sacrifice rate. At what rate the consumer is ready to sacrifice the good that he has for the other. Now in this case there are two goods food and clothing. At combination A the consumer has one unit of food and 12 units of clothing. Now when the consumer wants to increase the quantity of food from 1 to 2 what does he do? He sacrifices, he gives away 6 units of clothing. So we can say that at combination B the MRS is 6. MRS can be calculated as change in quantity of y upon change in quantity of x that is by how many units has the quantity of good y change y in our case is clothing and x in our case is food. So what is the change in the quantity of clothing at point B? It is 12 minus 6 and what is the change in the quantity of food? It is 2 minus 1. This is 6 upon 1 which equals to 6. So MRS here is 6. At point C, what is the scenario? At point C, the consumer wants to get one more unit of food. But for that, he has to sacrifice two units of clothing. That is his holding or his consumption of clothing decreases. It goes down from 6 to 4. He is sacrificing two. So at point C, we will calculate MRS as 6 minus 4 divided by 3 minus 2. This is 2 by 1 which equals to 2. This is how we calculate MRS. And MRS is nothing but the rate at which the consumer is ready to sacrifice or ready to give away one product for some other product. Now the second question is why is MRS falling? If you notice closely in the schedule the MRS is falling. It has fallen from 6 to 2 and from 2 to 1. Why do you think is it falling? It falls because first the want is satiable. That is, when the consumer has only one unit of food, he is keen to part with clothing to have one more unit of food because he has less units of food. But as he goes on having more and more food, his want tends to get satisfied. And as his want gets satisfied, he will be willing to have less food and since he is willing to have less food he will be ready to give away or he will be ready to sacrifice less of clothing.
सेकेंड पॉइंट इज इम परफेक्ट सब्सटीट्यूट वॉट डू यू मीन बाई दिस पॉइंट इम परफेक्ट सब्सटीट्यूट लेट से फूड एंड क्लोथिंग आर परफेक्ट सब्सटीट्यूट ऑफ ईच अदर वॉट विल दैट इम्प्लाय दैट विल इम्प्लाय दैट द कंज्यूमर विल नॉट माइंड कंज्यूमिंग फूड और कंज्यूमिंग क्लोथिंग he will not mind if he has food or he has clothing because both are perfect substitutes of each other food can replace clothing clothing can replace food but generally this is not the case we do not get perfect substitutes one unit of food will not replace one unit of clothing likewise one unit of clothing will not replace one unit of food in case of perfect substitutes one unit of a commodity replaces its substitute let's take an example of pepsi and coke now if you want to drink one bottle of pepsi you would not mind even if it is coke so what is happening is one bottle of coke is replacing one bottle of pepsi that is the consumer is ready to sacrifice or ready to give away one unit of pepsi one unit of coke so in case of perfect substitutes the mrs is always constant this the mrs will always be same you will always be ready to sacrifice those many units as many units of substitute you are getting but here the goods are not perfect substitutes of each other and since they are not perfect substitutes of each other the mrs is not constant the mrs is not always one one good may be able to demand more units of other and other good may be able to demand lesser number of units of the first good and thus we see that mrs keeps on falling